Hello everyone. This question is one of the most confusing question I would rather say because if you are taking a wrong approach then you can get diverted to somewhere where you will feel that okay I will get the answer but then you may not get it. So what is the right approach to solve this question? I hope till now you must have read the question so I'll directly start with the solution. Since AB is a tangent so I will use circle theorem and draw a line which will be perpendicular to AB and that would be the radius of the circle okay 30 degrees also given and OB length as per the coordinate is 16 so I'll use trig ratio over here I'll use sine 30 is equal to opposite which is R over hypotenuse which is 16 and that will give me the value of R as 16 sine 30 sine 30 is 1 by 2 so 16 times 1 by 2 that is 8 now we have got radius of a circle and this is a circle which passes through origin as a center or I should say this is a circle with center at origin. So the equation of such a circle is x square plus y square is equal to r square and I can write x square plus y square is equal to 8 square that is 64. Now till here we have just got equation of a circle. If you see this point P whose coordinates are given it lies on circle means this will satisfy equation of the circle. If I substitute both the points here, then 3p whole square plus p square is equal to 64. That will give me 9p square plus p square is equal to 64. 10p square is equal to 64. And p square is equal to 64 over 10, that is 6.4. The value of p will be square root of 6.4. You can use calculator for this and they have anyways asked that give your answer to one decimal place. So I can find square root of 6.4, that is... 2.53 we can round it off to 2.5 as one decimal place so this is the value of p and here we are done with this